Today, I will show you a free method to generate thousands of skatable t-shirt designs per day using Photo P. Step number one is heading to Photo P. I will have a link to this in the description. It is a free web browser based Photoshop alternative. And the first thing you need to do here is click on new project. Then you'll want to copy my settings up here for the width, height and DPI and click create. And now you're going to need a base design to kind of work with as a template. In this case, I've already prepared a design to save time for this video. But if you need any help with creating t-shirt designs, I've got a dedicated playlist on my channel. In this case, the idea is to have vintage and then different years in the middle at the bottom original paths. So for the variable word that you want to swap out, we need to actually type this out with the type tool. So select that from your toolbar, uh, click on the artboard, make sure you've got a large size right here, like about 850, something like that. And then double click on the type layer. We want to type out 1974, just um, as an example, what it's going to look like. I'm going to also highlight this, click into the color box at the top and sample this green just to match the design. And now I'm going to reposition this kind of to the middle right here. It's perhaps a bit too large. It's kind of the G is a bit covered up. I'm going to make this somewhat smaller. There we go. I think that looks nice and acceptable. Now that I've got this position, I'm going to rename this layer right here to year. And this is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. So first of all, I'm going to hide the background layer because our design is now ready. Then head over to image right here and click variables at the bottom. The first thing we want to do with this window is make sure that the layer right here is our text layer that we just titled year. That's what the variable will be. And then we need to click on text content and also type year into this field. And then the next step is going to be clicking on data sets at the top. Now we need to import a CSV file with all the variables. If you don't have a CSV file ready with the different years, let me show you a free method to create that as well, which would be with Google Sheets. I will leave a link to this in the description down below as well. And all you have to do right here is click on blank spreadsheet. And then we can type into the first row and to the A column right here, and just type year as the heading. And then uh, let's say we want to start from 1974. Then we can fill out the next field with 1975 and now highlight both of these whilst holding down shift, click on both of these and drag them down to extend this further and turn it into a sequence. So perfect, it's landed on 1996. That is my birth year. So let's just use this list as an example. If you're ready with the variables, click on file, download and comma separated values or CSV right here. And now you need to head back to Photo P and import this CSV file that you just downloaded. So here we go, I've found my spreadsheet, I'll click on it and then hit open. And there we go, now we can see the years that have been loaded in. And the last step would be going to export as, changing this to PNG, make sure the quantity is set to 100, and then you can click on export all items. Now this typically takes a few seconds, maybe a couple of minutes, depending on how long your spreadsheet is, how many variables you have, or how complex your design is. But after a short time, it should download all of these designs in a zip file. And there we go. Once the zip file has been downloaded, you can extract it, unzip it on your device, and then you will get all of your different design files right here. You can open them up and see that we have the variable word replaced in each design. This doesn't work very well on my dark themed Windows background uh, with this gray in the background, um, but it would look nicer on white. And the only downside to this free method is if you compare it to Adobe Illustrator, I've got a few tutorials on how to do this same process with Illustrator, then the words are not going to be resized to fit a certain text area. So for example, if you've got some very long words, if you're doing this with occupations, then they might bleed off of the artboard and be way too big, whereas smaller words will be you know, a very small size in the center with Adobe Illustrator, you can have a script that adjusts the size of the different words to fit the canvas. That is really, really handy. And that's the method that I typically use, but Adobe Illustrator is not free. So this is a cool free alternative that I found with Photo P and I hope it can be useful for you. You can work around that resizing issue by having multiple spreadsheets. You could have one spreadsheet with very, very long job titles, and you could have another one with very short, job titles and then adjust the design accordingly. It's going to take some extra time and effort, which is a bit annoying, but you know, it is free, so that helps. If you're wondering how to find unique ideas for scalable t-shirt designs, then you would massively benefit from watching this video next, where I show you the method that I use personally.